three circles touching one side and other two circles. Okay, I'll just show you that. Let's say we, we are taking a 10 centimeter triangle. Always remember whenever you are doing damage, it should be in millimeter. Maybe in communication we will be using centimeter, millimeter, but when you write it, Always remember that whatever you write, you write in millimeter. Now we will take side EB. And from B will cut this half and from A will cut this half. Wherever they will meet that is point C. Now since we already know that it's an equilateral triangle, we can directly mark the midpoint of all three sides. First we will bisect angle B and angle A. Draw line from C also. So, if you observe this, what we are doing, we are dividing triangle into three equal parts. C, O A B is one triangle. O B C is another triangle. O C A is another triangle. Now we have to draw three equal circles inside this triangle, like one circle in this triangle. One circle in this triangle, one circle in this triangle. Now, if I want to draw in circle, remember this method. Like, if you want to draw in circle inside a triangle, so you have to bisect any two angles. Now, in this case, what we can do, we can draw a vertical line and we can bisect angle OAB. Remember that we have to buy this angle OAB. Whenever it will cut, that is point one. Now I'll take one and two M as radius and draw one circle. It is going outside. Now we take O to 1 and draw a very light circle. So basically what we are doing, instead of bisecting these two triangles, we are transferring this distance on both the sides. So this I can write as 2 and 3. Now take the same radius, 1 to M. From 2, we can draw this side. From 3, you can do that. Because in exam, they will give you marks for your efforts. Like, whatever you do, it counts. Like, even, let's say you have to draw three circles inside a triangle. So even if you draw a triangle, it counts. Even if you draw one circle inside it, you know, and you show the construction, dimension, labeling, everything counts. The circle overlapping thing will hardly cost you or maybe one fourth or half of a mark. And sometimes what happens, students, they try to hide their uh, errors by doing manipulation. I don't think so that is the correct way to do anything. I would like to communicate this to all the students that whatever your efforts, 
it will be rewarded. So stick to your efforts. And I'm sure when you put your 100% and if you do it with full attention and focus, you will get it right. There is no doubt about it.